API 55B on the EQ, which is all, it's so funny. Like literally these two here on my, on my left, the 5500, I have the mastering version and the Fatso, those are literally sitting on my drum bus, 99% of my mixes. They literally model the same things that I use on my drum bus. We could call this a one-stop shop mixing plugin, not just because it has everything you need for mixing, several different types of EQ, compression, saturation, effects, limiting. But because the way they are given to you and implemented in this plugin, they come in full tested and proven to work chains from great engineers. We're taking a look at STL Tones Control Hub. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Misfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixfest TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses start to finish mastering courses on so many different genres and a lot more. And keep an eye on the new, extremely popular new format, the live mixing classes, one-offs. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. Let's get to the video. All right, STL Tones Control Hub, let me start by saying this. Usually, I am not a fan of plugins that pack a ton of things in one, like the one-stop shop plugin but this is actually extremely well thought out and implemented. And I also wanna say is a great learning tool. It's probably the only plugin that gives you an insight. It gives you the opportunity to take a look a great engineers chains, mixing chains for drums, for vocals, for bass, for entire mixes, for mastering as well. And actually some of the engineers that SDL Tones made the artist packs with are my friends. Like for example, Maor Applebaum. So Control Hub is a multiprocessor. You can see the modules. Pre-EQ is the first module that we have. Then we have color, which is saturation, compression, master EQ, effects, and limiter. Of course, you have extended metering, peak RMS, you have a global mix knob here at the bottom, your stereo section, which you can change from left and right to mid side. The linking from the channel is all variable from zero to 100% and so on. You have a big graphic display here, which by default shows you the EQ curves and the EQ mode as we are used to see. You can solo each band, but you can also put it in waveform mode if you wanna see your waveform while working on it. The GUI is resizable as you can see, and you can change also the appearance from dark to light and vice versa. I prefer dark. This plugin I think is different than many other multiprocessors that are out there because it pivots around proven to work chains from renowned engineers. For example, I got the latest pack, the Jeff Giuliano pack, which uh, we'll probably try first. And you can see when I click on the name, we have presets for drums, bass, guitars, keyboard, vocals, mix bus, master, and effects. And the one thing that I noticed that I liked when I opened this plugin is at the top, it tells you what is the chain modeled because the color, compression, master EQ, they don't change name, right? The modules always look the same, the names always look the same, but they actually under the hood modeled different either hardware or plugin chains, which is cool because I think this is the first plugin that actually models the entire chain for a given element in this hybrid form of hardware and plugins together, which is actually how we all work, right? I never work 100% analog. And for example, on my vocals, there's never just analog or just plugin. So I feel these are more real world chain that engineers actually use in their mixes. And it's also good because while you have the possibility of changing everything once you loaded the preset, adding pre-EQ, for example, in this preset that doesn't have it, changing the EQ the way you want, changing the color the way you want, so the compression and everything else, it somehow limits your choices, right? Um, I would suggest you to use this plugin as you load a preset that you think is gonna work on a given track. And if it doesn't work, instead of like tweaking too much and going 
into the rabbit hole, which you can if you want to, I would suggest to switch to another preset because when you start changing too much, maybe that's not the chain that is right for the given track. So this is just a premise we, before digging into it. I wanna start with the Jeff Giuliano pack. This is a rock track, so let's try thicken my mix bus. And by loading it, I loaded the console caller, the SSL bus compression, and the Motown EQ. I'm very curious, let's hear it. All right, first of all, I really like the thickness. So <laughs> this does what it says on the tin. Of course, remember, just like everything in mixing, gain staging is key. So in this case, you can hear that we have a little too much compression, right? I love the tone so far, and we're gonna try to analyze. Uh, we know the color comes from the console, but we're gonna bypass each module. But the first thing I wanna do to try to tailor this to my track is lower the threshold and compressing less than what we are now. All right, so I was already better. Now, my personal taste, I like a little slower attack on the two bus. We have an auto makeup, which I personally am gonna disengage, and the release is a little slow, so I'm just gonna go like 20 milliseconds here. I'm gonna turn on the side chain to about 90 or 100. All right, so I feel this SSL bus comp is very grabby, so I lower the ratio a little more. I just want a little bit of glue here. Let me play with the knee, maybe a softer knee. All right, this feels better. Let me see what Jeff Giuliano did on this chain, all right? Because I like the tone, I like the thickness. So let's bypass compression and master EQ. Let's hear what the collar does. Yeah, there's a lot of the thickness comes from here. And if we take a look at the, the, the knobs, everything is a unity gain, right? Treble volume for the preamp, for the drive and tape. And we have a little bit of tube here. So let's move this knob, let's see what it does. Well, I don't know what console they modeled here, but it sounds pretty great. I mean, both tube and tape sounds really, really good. Uh, let's see what he did with the EQ. We have a filter at 20, so super safe, which is what you want on your two bus. And then one dB at 7K with a fairly wide bell. And uh, let's see, we have actually the EQ uh, visualization here, the graphic here, our boost at 7K and then a slight boost, a 1 dB, a 90, a 100, I think, with the Motown EQ. That's just great. I mean, it sounds great. I mean, and, and this is exactly why I like uh, this plugin, because it gives you real life chains this is a processing that a professional mix engineer would do on the two bus. Not a million and a half things, but just two nodes of EQ on the two bus of one dB each, a little bit of compression and a little bit of color. This is realistic. Presets, let me go and API mix bus plus limiter. That, that should be interesting. So we have an API 2500 as a compressor. We have a color again, and we have another very, very light EQ curve, this time done with a dangerous back CQ. And let's see how this sounds.
it is funny <laughs> because I'm actually not a big fan of the dangerous back CQ and the top end. And this is, it, it, it sounds, it sounds like that. It's, <laughs> it sounds like that. So it's funny. You see, I'm, I'm absolutely not biased. I, I, <laughs> I would change the EQ, but that's the whole point. You know, if you don't like this, this preset because you don't like the dangerous back CQ, you just switch to something else. Let me try this. This is interesting. The Mixbus Red 3 Plus tape. So obviously the compression here is the Focusrite Red 3. We have the dangerous back CQ again. And the color comes from an Ampex uh, ATR 102. Don't know if it's a plugin or not. Don't care. Let's see how it sounds. I'm just gonna bypass the Master EQ because I don't know, I don't like the dangerous. So I'm just gonna do this. Well, it sounds really nice. I mean, I love the, the color section here. Let's go to another mix that you guys like a lot. And I'm gonna try something from my buddy. Let's just start with Glue Unlimited and let's see what Maor would use for Glue Unlimited. Uh, we have the, his Mastering Custom uh, Line Amp with, uh, with a Y-Stone P33-1. And for the Master EQ, we have an FCS Custom Coloration Module 8, which is tight and uh, bright mode. Maor has a lot of uh, either custom or modified gear in his studio. And of course, right now I'm using presets slash chains for full mixes, which are going to be subtle. And we will try something else, and we will try something else later. All right, again, it sounds great. Let me bypass the EQ and let me see if the color section in this case, because they model something different, it sounds different from before. Which it does right off the bat. You can hear this is much more saturated than the previous one, okay? So maybe I can try to push the drive back a little bit. sounds a little bit better otherwise uh, with the preset as it came it was a little too crunchy for me on the bottom end and then we have his EQ here which adds a couple of dB at 80 which adds 5k a 1 dB here and then removes with a very very wide bell 1 dB around 450 so let's hear how this sounds Very, very subtle. I love the top end. I think we don't need the boost at the bottom. So you see, once you load a preset and it sounds okay, even tailoring it perfectly to your track, it just takes like a couple of tweaks. Really, really nice. Let's try something else like on a, an acoustic mix. And I want to try either control depth or vocal presence. Let's try vocal presence because this is a, a track that is part of a very special thing that we will reveal later on uh, with uh, Monty Pitma, Madonna's and, and Ministry guitarist Anne Bella. So without first. <laughs> Survive. And I'm not 
A really, really nice top end. I really love it. And the Scholar module, again, it, that's that's where the money is, if you, if you ask me. Why don't we try on like drums or bass on some single tracks? And for drums, the Jeff Giuliano has several drum bus presets, chains, which I'm, I'm trying it on a full drum. So for example, like Bill Putney has a lot on drums, has a lot of single channels, right? Kick, kick boom, kick click, kick metal. Uh, snare beef, snare cracks, all very specific for each individual, like tom fat, cymbals, hats. You have a lot of single, very specific channels, okay? But Jeff has several drum bus, like mellow. Let's start with this. And it's funny because right now I was thinking, wow, I like the compression. And then I'm looking at it and they emulated the fatso, which this fatso here on my on my left is, it sits on my drum bus like on basically every mix. API 55B on the EQ, which is, all, it's so funny. Like literally these two here on my, on my left, the 5500, I have the mastering version and the fatso those are literally sitting on my drum bus 99% of my mixes. Let's play with this a little bit because the low end got a little big for me. It's crazy, you hear this snap? And I didn't touch the compression settings at all. This is like the default as it comes. And like the compression is like so familiar to what I do with my drums. It's crazy, love the color too. I really like how subtle the tape is even when you drive it. You know what, let me try, I wanna try, I'm gonna link these two and I'm gonna try the limiter here. Like I was saying, oh my God, this is so funny. I was saying I'm not a fan of the limiter. <laughs> and you see the notes, there's waves L L1 or L2, L1. I swear I didn't see it until now. So I'm not making this up. I was like, you know, kind of the limiter is kind of, is kind of choking the drums and it's kind of eat, eating a lot of trance in it. <laughs> and it's literally because of this, I'm not, I'm, of course, I'm, I'm not a fan of the L1, which I, it's funny because it has a specific color that I love on vocals, for example, and a specific behavior, I should say, not color, it's, it's a limiter. And this wasn't on, by the way, the limiter wasn't on in Jeff's uh, preset to his defense. <laughs> so it was just there, just in case you want it. But uh, it's funny because you know it 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 sounds like <laughs> so no limiter with this uh, with this preset I guess there is something that I noticed here in uh, Will Putney and we'll close the video with this so in effects there's uh, some sense reverb bus bass widener and then we have uh, reverb bus vocal plate and delay basic uh, one fourth slap, one fourth. So I'm just gonna try it really quick. I wanna try the bass ones and then the vocal sends. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> you can see there's a master EQ before the effect and then the effect. This of course is better if used on a send, not like I'm doing it right now, but I wanna try it on vocals. I didn't want to make this video too long, which is already too long. And for this, we'll try a reverb bus vocal long space first. And this is on a send. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. 
everything I do. Tell you all the time, heaven is a place on earth with you. Let me try another one, vocal, reverb, bus vocal, medium. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Tell me all the things you want to do. That's very nice, you know, subtle air. Let's try another one, plate two. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Really nice. And you can see here you have your selection heaven and you have chambers, halls, you have Lexi, you have micro. Uh, this is a 250. Many different effects. You have delays as well. Actually, he has in his pack like delays. So let's try to load one. Dirty one fourth. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Tell me all the things you want to do. It's that's really nice dark delay here it's you it's you it's all for you everything i do tell you all the time heaven is a place on earth with you nice nice so guys as you can see you have a lot of lot of different proven and used by professionals chains for everything independent channels like kick snares hats cymbals drum room bass guitars vocals effect sense full chains of effects i think it's really cool and again not just because it's easy and fast to use especially if you're at the beginning but also because you get to see and you get a, to take a look at the chains and what they emulate and, and what these guys are using and who knows maybe next pack is gonna be Mixbus TV here. If you want it, tell STL Tones in the comments down below and tell me what do you think in the comments down below. This is the video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Link to Control Hub is gonna be in the info box as well. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and keep an eye on the channel. There is a lot of news coming up. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up.